I saved a lot of my video watching time. You will not read Harrison from cover to cover. That is not practical. Rest everything, completely leave it aside. Third year MBBS has started and you don't know how to start preparing for NEET PG? Don't worry, I got you. 90% of us, including me, have not started their preparation on time. So I have added one jugad at each and every step so that you can save your time as well as use the resource very effectively. Step number one, main videos. For the sake of better understanding, we will be taking the example of esophagus from surgery. So first step is watch the main video of esophagus. Now that is the idealistic point of view. Let's come to the jugad point of view. The jugad is that first see what subtopics or sub questions of esophagus are important from your university exam point of view. That list you will automatically get from your seniors. Now watch videos for only those subtopics which are important for your university exams. Like for example in MUHS we had esophageal carcinoma. So I watched the video section of only esophageal carcinoma and rest everything I only read directly from the main notes. By doing this I focused only on what's important and thus I saved a lot of my video watching time which is again a very passive learning source. Step number two, Q banks. While solving the QBank, you will find some questions which are tagged as recent need or recent aims. And those questions you will highlight in your main notes. And also be smarter. What you have to do is, while you are solving the QBank, you will notice that some subtopics of esophagus are being asked again and again almost every year. For example, under esophagus, the whole esophagus topic is not important. In that also, specifically, esophageal motility disorders is being asked almost every year. So now, esophageal motility disorder has become an ultra high repeat topic. What to do with this ultra high repeat topic? I will come to it after I tell you the jugad. The jugad is, if you don't have time for solving the whole question bank, don't do it. Simply do the PYQs topic wise. Like for example, there is a separate section in most of the apps which will tell you the PYQs that were asked on the topic esophagus every year. If your current app subscription does not have it, then there is a specific app called as Reflex app. Again, this is not sponsored, but the Reflex app has topic wise PYQs. Just solve them for like seven to eight years. That is more than sufficient. And again, you will come to the same conclusion that esophageal motility disorders are an ultra high repeat topic. And that brings me to step number three, standard books. After you have completed step number one and two, you now know what are the ultra high repeat topics. You will read only and only those topics from standard books. There are two reasons for this. First reason is very obvious that they are asked almost every year. So you must know them in detail. The but second reason is, aaj ke date mein 99% medicals are using platforms for their entrance exam preparation. So how will you gain the edge? How will you differentiate yourself? The answer is standard books. But then you will ask, why not use standard books for reading the whole subject? So why it is not practical. Just for gaining the edge, you will not read Harrison from cover to cover. That is not practical. So keep it very simple. Focus on what is important. Focus on what is frequently asked and read only that from the standard book. Step number four, revision. Once you have completed step one, two, three, you have all the information from main notes, Q banks and standard books. If you have time, you may revise it from first page to last page cover to cover. But most of us don't have the time, nor the energy, nor the wish to revise the whole thing again. So you should revise only two subcategories. First is your university pet topics. And second are the PYQs that you have marked after solving the QBanks. Rest everything, completely leave it aside. And this four step pro forma is to be used for long subjects that is PSM, surgery, OBGY, medicine and pediatrics. Now let's come to the subjects which you must finish before your third year finishes. First is obviously PSM. The next are surgery and OBGY. The reason being surgery and OBGY are very fact based subjects and for fact based subjects you need more revisions. So the sooner you finish it more revision cycles you can manage for these subjects. This is completely in contrast to medicine which is a very conceptual heavy subject and once you get the concept then you don't need more revision cycles to keep it inside your brain. So that's it for part one. In part two we will be seeing the pro forma for short subjects, how to study medicine, how to integrate both the preparation of your university exams as well as NEET PG and finally what is the role of this base copy that you have formed in third and final year in internship where you are solely focused on NEET PG. Thank you.